This is a series of drills that Steve Culpas from Front Range ran with some of his players to demonstrate uh, some defensive moves and posture. The first thing we're going to look at is just some lateral movement drills you can do as part of your warm-up routine. And as you can see, we're looking at making sure that they're shuffle stepping and their head staying level while they move. Here they're doing the same thing, just kind of building on the concept of shuffle step, move, and get your body behind the ball. You know, I think as we're talking about shuffle stepping, I think it's a very, very critical move that coaches really need to prioritize in practice uh, because it's such a key component to serve receive efficiency, getting to behind the ball on defense. And so many younger players tend to cross their feet over when they're moving laterally. So as we build, uh, you know, now we're starting to incorporate a little bit more of a ball handling component, but it's still shuffle step, move behind the ball, and then play the ball with the forearms. And you want to make sure you're emphasizing, obviously, the posture, movement, trajectory of the ball, and, and tempo. You want to make sure your players, uh, the person who's setting the ball, is, is um, you know, controlling the tempo so the passer is not waiting for them. There's kind of a constant flow and movement to the, to the drill. The focus, obviously, is to keep the ball in play, and you want to, at all times, discourage athletes from catching the ball. If, uh, you know, if uh, you know, it's not coming together as well as you want, you want to avoid catching and keep that ball in play. Same thing, uh, you know, now we're building in kind of more of the, uh, the partner pepper component where there's two contacts, a set and, a, and a, an attack by the person at the net, and then we're still moving sideways to, uh, to defend. You know, so it's a ball control drill. Uh, you know, and you could also, in, in theory, put in a, a third person who's going to set the dig to the attacker. So there's all sorts of options that you can use, um, you know, with the same umbrella of moving, defending, and lots of quality ball contacts. You know, the priority for, for the attacker is just to make sure that we're being accurate. So if your players cannot do this drill with some degree of accuracy, then, you know, have them either set the ball uh, to their partner or have the coach be part of it or make it a, a, three, a three touch with, with a setter, which is a little bit easier. This is a demanding ball control drill where we're still moving, but instead of two touches, now there's just the attacker has to attack the ball that's dug. And one of the key components of this is, we'll get away from the defender for a second, is the attacker moving their feet. You want to make sure the ball is always right in front of their right hitting shoulder and at the same place every time. And so often the attackers don't move and they kind of lean sideways or fall backwards. And we want to make sure the attacker is moving as well as the defender and making sure that ball is in the same place every time, and preferably their feet are in the same place with their left foot in front of their right. Still shuffle stepping, but now we're building in or reinforcing, I probably should say, the posture component where the, the defender has to shuffle under the net, receive a ball from the attacker, and hopefully keep their head level while they're moving. The attacker has to set the proper tempo for the drill to make sure it's constant move, movement to the ball and you're not standing waiting for the ball. See here, it'd be nice that the attackers go just a little bit faster. Um, you, you know, so the, the defender has to really move quickly to defend as opposed to waiting on the ball. But that's something that certainly the coach can reinforce and present to their team as they're going through the drill. Here's a multiple ball drill that uh, you know just kind of raises the the challenge level in terms of attacking then they have to set the ball that's tossed to them and then attack the ball that's played back to them so you can you can see the sequence and again it forces the 
the defender to move quickly, to focus on multiple things in a short period of time. Same drill, just from, just from a different angle. Again, we don't want to lose focus of you know, the posture, but we're also, as we're, as we're developing this drill, now instead of the attacker hitting right at the defender, they're hitting, they were set, now they move sideways to defend. So the, the, the toss brings them back to the middle, then they move laterally to defend the ball that's attacked. Same drill, and notice the lateral movement. So they'll set move sideways, and then dig. Here, back to the middle, move sideways, and defend. So again, we're just incorporating a little bit more movement, a little bit more ball control, and a little bit more concentration, um, you know, demanding concentration on the part of the players. Here they work on a line, like in this case, the, the three meter line where the players have to defend and then receive a ball from the opposite attacker. Now ideally there's going to be a little bit more movement so as they're moving to receive the ball they're also retreating so the attack will be about a 25 foot attack whereas right now you know it's 15, 18 feet. So really encourage your players to get wide as they're moving. So it's dig and really drive back and get wide. So incorporate a little bit more movement. Same drill except now instead of hitting right at the defender, notice how the defender is getting outside the three meter line and digging the ball back. So the hitters hit, you know, three to five feet away from the three meter line, and then the defender has to dig the ball back to the three meter line where the attacker is standing. So again, a little bit more of a challenge, a little bit more movement, but it really works on the players having to redirect the ball from outside the three meter line to back to the three meter line. Last thing we're going to show you is just a, a movement drill, again, that you can incorporate into warm-up. Three contacts, and each player has to contact the ball once in a dig, set, attack pattern. Has to be an attack in this situation. So as you can see, as soon as you dig, you have to go to the other side, and then there's three contacts. So everybody has the same role, and it's just a ball control drill, where, you, where and it's also a communication drill, so the defender has to tell the attacker where they're at on the court. Now, if you have a younger group, maybe instead of attacking, you set it over, or if this is becoming pretty easy for your players, they can jump and swing, as you saw there. So, again, lots of movement, lots of ball control, and a pretty good warm-up drill. So all of these drills are with the idea of, of moving, controlling posture, shuffle-stepping, and exhibiting good ball control.